Hi and welcome. Today I will talk about an important experiment conducted by the Russian physiologist Ivan Pavlov. Ivan Pavlov was interested in the physiology of animals and especially in the digestive systems of dogs. He would bring food and observe the salivation of, to, of uh, dogs in response to this food. But one day, Ivan Pavlov noticed that the dog would salivate as a response to the assistant coming to bring the food. There was like an association between the, asso the uh, assistant and the food. So to elaborate this experiment further, Ivan Pavlov decided to bring a metronome, which is a device used by musicians, and to play it when bringing food to the dog. After several repetitions, Ivan Pavlov would remove the food and would play with the metronome alone, and he would notice that the dog also would salivate. What Pavlov did here is he laid the foundation of an important learning theory, which is the classical conditioning. What do we have in classical conditioning is the following. You have an unconditioned stimulus, which is the food, a conditioned stimulus, which is the metronome, and you get first the unconditioned response, which is salivation. After several repetitions, and remember the key here is repetitions, there would be an association between the, met the food and the metronome. You would play eventually the metronome alone, which is the conditioned stimulus, to get a conditioned response, which is salivation. So how can this be applied to human beings? Well, let's imagine that when you were a kid, you would feel a certain kind of anxiety at the end of a week, the weekend because the second day you would go to school. And now as an adult, even though school is now, has now ended, you would still feel the same anxiety at the end of the weekend. Like there was, there was this association between anxiety and the end of the weekend. So the classical conditioning is reflex-based. It's like there is an uh, unconscious association between two stimulus, the conditioned stimulus and the unconditioned stimulus. Now I have a question for you. Let's, let's assume that Pavlov brought another device other than the metronome. Would there have been also an association, can this, stimul can this uh, conditioned stimulus be generalized? Now leave your comment below and let me know your opinion. And now you know.